cheers, my friend. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, we have to actually to cheers. You. Hold yeah. on. Because we, we like eye fun. contact. And, Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Cheers. Congratulations cheers. on Thank that. You. Oh, I don't know. On a Super Bowl win. Same. Wow. I mean, it's yeah, a whirlwind. <laughs> As you would imagine. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Mm. Mm. Matches Bad my luck hat. not to take the sip. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, now we've now returned we've the body okay. to its normal <laughs> state. <laughs> Getting a little shaky with that. It's been a long Ooh. week for you, Kara Henderson. No, it's Sneed. been it's been amazing. It you know, you always wonder when you're a reporter, you know, how does it feel? How does it feel for people when they actually achieve this thing that they've been, you know, thinking about their entire lives? And you know, I mean, when you're on the field after the Super Bowl, I got the chance at NFL Network to cover so many of them. And the worst interviews are the interviews that you get on the field right after the Super Bowl because people are just shell-shocked. They're shell-shocked. They, they, they cannot process that they are in one of the great moments of their lives, that they've actually gotten to the top of the mountain. And... It's awesome, and the visuals are amazing, but the interviews are terrible, right? Terrible. And so I've always wondered, like, what does that feel like? And obviously, I'm, you know, I'm just married into it. I'm, I am not the one that did anything per se, but it's a, it's a really interesting thing. It just kind of washes over you, and it just gets better and better and better as you continue to process and you allow yourself to go through you know, a period of time. And, and we've all seen, I'm sure, you know, videos of, of Aaron Donald. And to me, you know, having known him from when we drafted him to now, it's just like this weight has been lifted off of him. And he is just fully, like, complete. And he's got a beautiful family. And he looks great with his shirt off. As we've all seen. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, come on. And it was it was hilarious. And we went to the parade the other day, which, by the way, that was his wife, Erica, who was standing by him, which is really interesting. So um, her dad is, um, you know, he was a, a coach in the league forever. So Aaron Donald's just got this amazing, amazing life. And when I got to Cal Lutheran, which is where the Rams facility is, uh, the other day when we were going to take the buses to go then be a part of the parade and Aaron Donald already had his shirt off at 8 a.m. I'm like, we about to get lit. This is going to be so much fun. And it was everything, but you just see that it just washes over people. I was joking. I mean, a lot of people were talking about, you know, less wearing the shirt with his face on it the other day that we had given him that had the meme on it that people have talked about. I was joking with him this morning that I'm actually wearing a, a one with his face on it today. <laughs> Because it's literally, it's, I, for those listening on the radio, I've just got a big smiley face sweatshirt on. And he has not, I mean, he's got this like Cheshire cat kind of grin that he's had all week long. And it is, it's just this like, like, ah, uh, like relief. Part of it is, I think when you lose one and you know how awful it is and you have to wait, like the thing about the season is, you, you know, for good or for bad, like you have to like get over it whether it's a win or a loss and you got to go play another game. But now when you don't have another game to play until September and so you get to like rest on your laurels and, and you won the last game, it's amazing. You don't want to do that when you lose and you have to sit there with that loss for so long. So you just felt like everybody's just got this sense of completeness, which is fantastic. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 